All right, guys, so today is a little bit of a different video, but I just thought it was on my mind and I think it's kind of important and it would be really helpful for especially the new people when it comes to raising rabbits and getting successful litters. This is like one of the hardest things for really anyone. Um, so don't feel like you are alone when it comes to trying to get successful litters or just dealing with problems because it doesn't matter how experienced you are or not you're going to have them. And just FYI, if you hear crunching, I have a dog around the corner eating. So, um, but that's the life here. So anyways, what I wanted to, um, share with you is we're, as we speak, um, we're in the final litters of the year and I had a doe, um, she went into labor and I was able to find one of her babies that she had on the wire. So I picked it up and put it, um, back in the nest. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to, or what kind of brought this video to mind is that it's hard to know what to do. So I find so many, there's so many, com so much conflicting information and knowing what's right and what's wrong. And so anything that I say on this channel, it's all what works for me. And I want you to take what works for you and leave the rest. So when it comes to the care of anything, all animals are different. They're all going to respond differently. And so you have to know your animals for one. So when it comes to having litters or, or right around that time when they're about ready to be born, here's some quick things that I want you to think about or to not do in order to have that delivery go well, as well as, you know, the mom doing her job and different things like that. So the first one is a couple of days or even a week beforehand. Um, before her litter is born, if you have multiple rabbits, make sure she's getting along with her neighbor, especially meaning if you have a hutch where there is a divider or um, like mine where there there's two cages beside each other, but it's not solid. So she they can fuss at each other or maybe just have little squabbles that maybe not get to each other, but they can still disagree. <laughs> So you want her to not be stressed out by who's next to her. Don't um, do anything like major cage location changing. Um, if you have a rabbitry in a barn, don't go reorganizing everything. Um, another one is don't go changing her feed. I see this happen all the time. And I had to do it this summer. And I think honestly that caused some of our litter issues. Um, if you have to change the feed, you know, you do what you got to do. But if you have a choice, then wait till the litters are done or at the very least, let her be on that feed for more than a month before you actually breed her. Um, rabbits are finicky. And so there's a lot of stuff that happens that you really just can't be sure what happened um, and things that go wrong. So that being said, don't do anything to really upset the apple cart before she's um, due or has her, her litter. And then the day of, do things like watch your, if you have other animals, like chickens that tend to go wherever they feel like it, or um, don't go burning a fire when she has gone into labor, um, or even the day of, like if you burn... Um, if you, you know, are burning brush or anything like that, don't do anything extremely out of the ordinary or that could trigger her brain to go, hey, something might not be right. She's not going to know the difference between a fire that's okay and a fire that's something that's dangerous. So you've got to realize that they are still prey animals that they would be preyed upon. So just kind of be cautious about those things. Another one is like if you have um, if you have neighbors and things, there's not a lot you can do about it. But if you don't go scheduling something crazy loud at your place, um, if if something like that should happen, essentially just keep everything as calm and as quiet as possible. Don't rattle her cage at all. <laughs> so if you stick to those things, you should have a pretty successful time of it. If she has a litter or any babies on the floor of the cage, um, if she's starting to make the nest outside of the nest box that you have given her, pick it all up, put it, make it kind of like a nest in the box and put it all back in there. 
if you have issues like that, put it back in there. Don't, don't be afraid to touch the babies. Don't be afraid to, um, you know, get a na nasty, something nasty out of there, whatever it is, get it all the way it should be. Cause usually, and you can never say for sure with animals, but it kind of triggers her to go, Oh, it's supposed to be in here. Another thing you can do is if she doesn't pull fur right underneath where she would feed her babies for like the nipples and nipples and things like that, you can pull fur from there. Most females have a dewlap, which is like a fat roll around their neck. They will pull fur from that. You can just tug on it a little bit and some fur should come out and it's, it's loosened by the time she is delivering. So it's not going to hurt her by doing that um, because that's how she would put fur in her nest. So don't be afraid to do those things. All right. If you have any other questions about something to do with the, um, babies and, and getting them through to success or anything like that, leave them in the comments and I will make sure to come back and answer those. And I will see you in the next video.